This is the news. It's not, it's not. This is CNC. We keep pointing this guy's bigotry out and call out Spotify and Apple Podcasts for hosting this charlatan and we get crickets. Again for the cheap seats, Joe Rogan is a bigot and a white supremacist, period. As I've said, racist and misogynistic whites don't like the white man who was the black president's VP for eight years. Has the most diverse cabinet ever. That's why they hate him. Certainly anything that got the usual suspects that upset has to be pretty on target and, and on point. Now, I'm not the world's biggest Joe Rogan fan, uh, and I certainly don't go to him for any type of meaningful insights or anything, but occasionally, you know, even a broken clock's right twice a day. Elon Musk, of all people, shared this clip two days ago that's been viewed over 55 million times. Now, I did a little digging. This isn't a new clip. This is actually a year old. It came out in March 2023. This was an episode that he had with Russell Brand, and they're talking about the government. And this is what Joe Rogan said that got the lefties all pissed off today. I would vote for Trump before I'd vote for Biden, just because I think with Biden, like, he's no, he's, he's gone. Like, you know he's gone. It's You're going to be relying on his cabinet. And I knew his cabinet would be this fucking sideshow of diversity. <laughs> so, of course, they're going to be mad them talking about the obvious cognitive decline of Biden. I guess I should clear my mind here a little bit and not say what I'm really thinking. He's not running anything, okay? We have our sneaking suspicion on uh, who that might be at this time, but it certainly isn't the old boy. Now that he's gone, then he moved on that the real problem now is his cabinet and the DEI diversity hires and the clown show of diversity and which is exactly what it is you can't have those kind of people running a ben and jerry's <laughs> well you certainly can because ben and jerry are those idiots okay they're the ones that are wrong about everything they're total woke tards sure they could run a ben and jerry's but ben and jerry's is running themselves into the ground you <laughs> with crappy ice cream by the way you <laughs> certainly can't have those kind of people running the fucking most powerful government the world's ever known uh, well, they're doing it right now. He's claiming that this is a diversity sideshow. I mean, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. There, there's none of this clown show stuff going on in this cabinet. I don't have anything. I, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I, I don't have anything. Remember Sam Brinton, the totally fabulous non-binary pick the Biden White House made to manage the United States' nuclear waste storage? And it was later picked up multiple times by the cops for allegedly walking off with other people's luggage from baggage carousels. We need to have these conversations that question the assumptions that are underlying today's attacks on transport. That too is one of my highest priorities uh, to ensure that our foreign service is diverse. Diversity and inclusion make our diplomatic team stronger, smarter, more creative, more innovative. If a highway was built for the purpose of di dividing a white and a black neighborhood, that that obviously reflects racism that went into those design choices. For us at every moment in time, and certainly this one, to see the moment in time in which we exist and are present. I don't have anything, don't have anything, I don't have... So the left is angry at him talking about this clown show of diversity, which is exactly what this administration has put out there from the beginning. I mean, we've got men pretending that they're women. You've got homosexuals. You've got lesbians. You, you've got you've got the whole gamut of boxes that needed to be checked. That Biden has done everything he can do to get those boxes checked. And look at what it's done to us. We're the laughing stock of the world. I'm embarrassed as an American to look, and these are the people that are running the most powerful effing government in the world. It's what Rogan was saying here above, that this diversity clown show that's being put on by the government, it mocks meritocracy. It makes people that would otherwise not be able to be in positions like this because they're not intelligent enough, they've not earned it, they've not put in the time. 
that but mediocrity now is the new norm okay it sacrifices success because why even try anymore if you're a female athlete why even try anymore when they're allowing biological males I can't even believe I have to say that, but biological males to compete against you and you're going to lose every time. It steals the spirit of people and, and any type of spirit of ingenuity, of innovation. It, it, it saps it because it, so it's just going to be given to somebody else that's going to cause you know planes to fall out of the sky because of these same diversity initiatives. It glorifies grievance because now it's a communistic type of mentality where nobody gets more than anybody else and everybody's gonna be the same. That is a prescription for a ruined country. And finally, and most importantly here, I believe, is that it guarantees more government interference in our lives because it's gonna make sure that the people who haven't earned or made it like you have will be able to be on the same footing. And quite frankly, folks, this is what Joe Rogan's mad about. And it's the losers on the left that look at this video and get angry because inherently they know that it's true and that these losers will never measure up with people who put the time in, put the blood, sweat, and tears into their work and they try hard. Mediocrity will never make us great again. Exactly, no! Hey, how you doing? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to this channel. You can also check out Coxinator Productions over at Twitter, at I am Coxinator. Coxinator Productions, open the minds by closing them on truth. Oh!